A canoe builder tells a story about learning to chant with waves, words stretched, vowels elongated, chanted slowly. He was not in control of the timing or of time itself. The waves were. His breaths mimicked the rhythm of the ocean, which on that day were smooth, slow, and steady. He had not always been this way, of course. In fact, history had stripped his tongue of the taste of Olalo Hawaii, the language his ancestors spoke making the chant feel foreign in his mouth. He struggled with the words, rolled them around, chewing on them, all the while frustrated at what should have been his since birth but wasn't. His teacher pointed to a stone here, he was told. Stand here. Nervously, he did as his teacher instructed, steadying his bare feet on the hard black surface beneath him, eyes fixed on the ocean. Each line had to follow a wave, a single wave, as it moved toward the shore. He was told that he could not complete a line until the water hit the sand. Thus the once small and simple chant was drawn out, slowed down, made to match the tempo of the waves, the tune of the sea, the flow of his Pacific. There was no rushing the process, for there could be no rushing when it came to remembering who and what he was. It was hard at first, as hard as the stubborn stone he stood upon, but slowly, slowly, Memorization and recitation gave way to internalization, to feeling the chant, to knowing it, and tapping into an ancestral rhythm that was always there, yes, there, just beneath the surface. He had learned to chant with the ocean, to chant with the waves that he would sail upon, bringing them to life. This is the story of our Meleva'a, the chants chanted, the songs sung, and the words learned and composed to build launch and sail our va'a, our canoes, from the past to the present and into the future. Uh, can you pull us on the side and say, oh, I want you folks to go learn his chants? No. <laughs> oh, 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 we don't chant. We don't chant? Yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, what? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they oh. take us by the ocean. So you see the wave? What's the wave? The yeah. wave coming in. And you chant. You chant to the way with the wave. All the way. <laughs> chant yeah. that there. And you stretch the chant to the way. He made oh. us like stand on a rock. Yeah. Yeah. We had like the. Yeah. We each had our own rock. rock. Or yeah. me and him had our yeah. own rock. We had to stand on the rock and he was in front of us. Yeah. Teaching us how to chant. Chant. Just the three of you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. And then that's what he was telling us. The wave. You, the when wave. you chant, you, are, you chant the wave in. Yeah. So the whole, when you say the line, then. It should take them all the time that we come to the like, you got to oh. stretch the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Learning to chant was part of the process of building and securing a canoe, a vessel of hope and a vessel of pride for contemporary Hawaiians. When Captain Clayton Bertelman envisioned and endeavored to build a canoe, he had to find knowledge keepers or people who could guide them. Then Clay was saying, you know, but we're going to do this project. We're going to um, we're going to cut down one core tree, and we're going to start from scratch. Yeah. So it was. Look at it all. Hey, yeah. Why not? You know what I mean? For our culture, uh -huh. you know. From that, um, Kili Itawa and Charlie Kaupu was helping us research all the chants mm -hmm. and everything. Uh, to make it authentic and, and some of the uh, protocols and procedures too. So we had plenty of people um, helping us, all the kupuna. Um, I think I, I told it before. Um, they, you know how kupunas wouldn't share the knowledge from their families mm -hmm. before. And then um, just one time it just changed where Clay went out and started asking the same people that he had asked the year or two years before. Uh -huh. And they were giving a now they're all sharing. right down the in right down the row. Huh. They were giving the information. Mm. It's just like they either saw it in him or or time was changing. Yeah. Led by Kili'i Tau'a and Charles Kaupu, 
renowned chanters themselves, everyone involved had to learn, from Nakaleva'a or the canoe builders to Nakua or those who served as protectors and guardians for the work being completed. And each part of the process had to be completed with protocol in ceremony. Sometimes this required them to sit and huddle together in small spaces, learning in the dark, in the cold and in the forest, and sometimes it required them to chant at the shore, to and with the waves. Yep. Follow the protocol every way you can, as much as yep. possible, and do it, mm -hmm. and take it, you know, follow the procedure, get to the goal. The challenge, I think, was in a tent the night before the ceremonies. So it's late at night, you know, mm -hmm. the families are up there, we eating and everything, and we're starting to fast already. Um, so we fed the families, everything, um, and Kili'i says, okay, we got to learn this chant. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to sit outside mm -hmm. and learn the chant mm -hmm. under the regular tent. Yeah. No, we're going in, I don't know if it was his tent or Shadi's tent, <laughs> and one small, small. little tent. <laughs> And us guys are like this, not can even straighten up your leg. It's yeah. getting cramped and everything, you know. Mm -hmm. And and we're in our malo, and it's getting cold. Oh. <laughs> and we gotta learn this chant, and we're not doing really good at it mm -hmm. because it's late. We're not gonna function. We're mm -hmm. falling asleep right, right there, and it's and our brains and brains are shutting down. <laughs> then he starts going, okay. We do it one more time, then we go around the circle, everybody do it by themselves. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that took hours and hours, and we were trying to help each other. Mm. And um, it was Iava Anui. That's the first chant we mm. Oh, boy, I tell you, that was, a, that was the hardest thing we had to learn was cramming when you're tired and your brain is shut down already. The canoe builders who built Mauloa, a single-hulled outrigger canoe made entirely of natural materials and who later built and launched the double-hulled sailing canoe Makali'i, learned chants to unify themselves, chants to pray for their canoe, chants to ask for wind or even to send it away when it was too strong. They learned chants that allowed them to align with the elements, with their vessel, and chants to get them focused and prepared for upcoming voyages. Although not an easy process, it was a necessary one. What became clear in the beginning of these canoes, however, was the need to not only learn older chants, giving them voice and sound in contemporary times, but to compose new chants for new stories. These new chants spoke of the birth of new canoes, va'a that would lead our people in new times, when posed with new challenges and when facing the impacts of modernization, globalization, and colonization. These chants told stories of departure and arrival, of birth and rebirth, of life and hope. They honored our navigators, captains and sailors, men and women who had decided to follow their ancestors, to travel the sea, to read the stars, to brave the elements, and to rediscover old routes and routes. Led by community members and dedicated kumuhula like Pua Case and Halau Hula Kiala Ona Maupua, chants were not only composed but shared. New voices were taught to roll the stories of our canoes in their mouths, giving life and expression to the va'a. If I say, what am I and my gift to this canoe, ohana we have, I'm going to say, I'm a chanter. And I take that very seriously. When I chant, I chant with everything I have. Everything. Because most likely, I am chanting to welcome a canoe in, or I am chanting to send a canoe out. And that means I have to send them out in the best way possible, full power, with everything that I have. Tonight you are learning all about what I can give you in a short period of time on the importance of chanting and why it is essential, especially 
if you are a crew member 10 years from now. Okay, we're going to think about that. And in order for me to make that commitment, I actually have to put something on. And you know what I'm putting on? The how. You guys all know this is how, right? The how that came from what made the railings of Makaliti. So when I put this on, I actually put in the canoe on. So now you see how I gotta even be better because I'm wearing the canoe. So now I can make that commitment. You can make that commitment. You're gonna be the best that you can be. You can chant as loud as you can. You can listen to the best of your ability and you're gonna learn something. If you can make that commitment, please step in. These chants have since been taught to many, elders and children, students and teachers, those who have come and will sail canoes, as well as those who will wish them safe travels and be there to welcome them when they return home. These chants are about ceremony and celebration. In learning new compositions, the Ohana Va'a, or canoe family, has never forgotten their origin, their beginning, and their foundation. Thus, they've continued to chant and to teach the words first taught to the canoe builders when they huddled in cold tents to learn new words and when they stood at the shore to chant with the waves.
As long as there are va'a, there will continue to be chants for them, chants to them, and chants that root them in our histories. Chants will continue to be composed to encourage, to celebrate, and to honor responsibility. As long as there are va'a, there will always be a place for the manukahia, or the bird, who calls the canoe to sail. Ea mai na manukahea e, ea mai na manukahea e, e kahea na ya ue, e kahea na ya ue, e kavaa kaulua o makali e. I kawaa kaulua o makali i e Na kala i waa u ke kai e Na kala i waa u ke kai e Na koa vivo o le o kapu u e Na koa vivo o le o kapu u e Na o la pa o ka vau na hele e. Na o la pa o ka vau na hele e. Na kupu o ka piko o akea e. Na kupu o ka piko o akea e. Na pua mai o le o ka aina e. Na pua mai o le o ka aina e E holo kai i na ale nui e E holo kai i na ale nui e E holo kai i na ale iki e E holo kai i na ale iki e E ola a mauloa e e, e ola a mauloa 